the root. Hello, I'm Paul Hand and welcome badminton fans to the vibrant, bustling cosmopolitan metropolis of Bangkok. After a tough 2020 that saw the cancellation of the most tournaments, the badminton world is keenly poised and wheel spinning back into action. Our venue, the Colossal Impact Arena here, is playing host to our continuing badminton coverage over the next three weeks. It's a cavernous venue, multifaceted hall with a huge usable indoor space. So Bangkok's HSBC BWF World Tour Badminton Extravaganza continues today with the Yonex Thailand Open, followed next week by the Toyota Thailand Open, both Super 1000 tournaments. Action culminates with the belated HSBC BWF World Tour Finals starting on Wednesday, January the 27th. To kick off day three, we've the world number 28 Danish mixed doubles pair take on the might of the seventh seeds from England, Ellis and Smith. Following that, expect fireworks in an all-Asian men's doubled power struggle favoring the sixth seed, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin. Current women's singles world number 10, Michelle Lee takes on former world number two, Sung Ji Hyun. What should be a mouth-watering prospect, that one. Lee trails 2-3 head-to-head and be looking to put the record straight there. Match four sees a crossing of swords between the two talents of the men's singles world. Fifth seed, former world number three, Anthony Ginting takes on talented Thai, three times world junior champion, Kun Lavut Viditsan. Then opportunity beckons in a Thai French women's doubles. In the absence of the top seeds up above, the women's draw has really opened up. Can the Thai number ones, Kitty Harakun and Prajong Jai, the seventh seeds, capitalize on it against unfamiliar French foes, Lefel and Tran? In the second five matches, the seventh match. That enticing top 15 men's singles catches the eye between Victor Axelson and Cantafon Wang Chiro. And so uh, that's how it lies. To conclude, we've got 39 round of 16 matches to get through today. And by the end of play tonight, we will have our quarterfinals lineup in place to unfold on Friday. Players behind the scenes there just poking out to catch a view of the light show. It's all happening. Looking to start the new year with a bang. And, uh, well, first up, it's a top 30 Anglo-Danish mixed doubles clash from the bottom quarter of the draw. The Indonesian second seeds, Jordan and Octavianti, looming, of course, the All England Open champions. They are. So we're all set. Players ready to make their way to centre stage. And it's only day three with our live continuing coverage just about to unfold we've got three weeks of back-to-back -back action here come the players so there they are then Matthias Christensen leading the way 26 years old tall man 1 meter 86 as is his uh, partner Alexandra Boyle 21 years old from Horsens 1 meter 73 and there come the English challenge in Marcus Ellis, 31 years old from Huddersfield and uh, followed out by his partner Lauren Smith, 29 year old from Cumbria. Inside the top 10 these days, these two have been uh, playing off a world ranking of nine in the world these days. And uh, well, they were up to eight back in October 2019. So players being announced onto court two as well. And these two teams will get ready to undergo the warm-up. Let's see if we can clean anything from the coin toss. From Indonesia. from Switzerland.
Oh, I didn't get any of that. It's all the music, isn't it? But there we are, it's good. They're all ready. Ends have been selected. Server nominated. Warm up just about to begin. Shuttles wrenched from the dispensers. And the English duo are keen to get on with it. So it's mixed doubles from near the bottom of the draw sheet to get us underway as we take a look at this big, tall, imposing man from Bornholm in Denmark, resides these days in Copenhagen, as does his partner. Ranking of 28th in the world. Has been up to four in the world with Christina Pedersen, but got a little unlucky, some would say. She obviously retired, pulled the plug, and uh, he had to go searching. His partner these days is Alexandra Boyle, 21 years old from Horsens. Also a Copenhagen resident. And, uh, well, they were quarter-finalists of the Denmark Open, these two, and they won the Saar Lorlux Open, a uh, Super 100 World Tour at the start of November together. Built a decent ranking inside the top 30 already. What of their English opponents? Seven seats. Marcus, 31 years of age these days, five foot nine from Huddersfield. He hails and uh, these days lives in St. Albans. Just uh, two spots off that career high. And his partner in crime, Lauren Smith. from Carlisle originally, also lives at London Way, looking sharp. But uh, in 2020, they breached the top 10 with a round of 16 Indonesian Masters showing. They won the Thai Masters at the end of January, quarter-finalists at the Barcelona-Spain Masters in February, and semi-finalists, of course, are the big one, the All England Open. That's the one that is so dear to them. If ever you want to perform well, it's at home. They did so at Birmingham and uh, did themselves proud. Also very good showing, as I said, at the uh, semi-finals of the Denisa Denmark Open in October. Our Thai umpire presiding over this one. And the service judge just opposite. So, looks like we're pretty much ready. Paul Hand here alongside uh, dear esteemed friend Morton Frost. Morton, morning to you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to the day. So uh, I think we have a quite interesting match here in front of us, uh, this mixed doubles. Uh, of course, uh, on paper, I would say the English pair is favourites to win, but uh, that's on paper. It's been pretty close on a few occasions, so let's see how that goes. Yeah, it is a first meeting, so we can't sort of glean too much into it, can we? It's going to be interesting because you saw yesterday we brought you Matthias and Alexandra, and he was, well, booming down smashes. A lot yeah. of cheap points from overhead. He's a strong, broad-shouldered unit. He is, and it's all about it's, it's the, the fight at the net between uh, uh, Alexandra and uh, and Lauren, I think. That's that's really where it's, it's all going to be. It's who's going to lift, who can control the net, and uh, set the partner off in the best possible way. That's, that's what it's, it's all about, and I think that's going to be a tremendous fight. Just a little uh, lacing issues. Ladies and We're already now. On my right, Matika Tistiansen and Alexander Boyer, Denmark. And on my left, Mark Hart Aulis and Lauren Smith, England. Lauren Smith is served to Matia Tistiansen. Love all. Play. Round of 16 mixed doubles to get day three underway. Oh, that was a wheel Lavio spinning from the start Italy. line there, screeching so off. One love. from Indonesia. Two love. 
someone steal his breakfast this morning or something? What's up with him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. two good points played by Matthias. Uh, of course, as you saw, the service return that was magnificent. He was so quick on it. I was just about saying maybe he could have even been faulted on it because he was perhaps he was very close moving before the server struck. savaging the shuttle at the moment Three, isn't he one. yeah it's a little bit of a nervy start from uh, ellison smith um i i think they're not really settled in yet um, normally they are quite aggressive in their play and so far they've been forced mostly into defense just ricocheting so off the over. back of alexandra Two, oil there is she Took a defensive stance. That yeah, was going, wasn't it? So it's over. It's close. Four, two. A nervy start from the English team. Not surprising with what's been coming at them. Well, he is everywhere at once, Morton, Five, isn't he? Matthias two. Christensen is just like lightning. What a start from him, owning the court. Yes, he's a very aggressive player and obviously likes to, to use his big smash as much as possible. But we have seen in the past that he is sometimes running out of steam, which means that, you know, if he's spend uh, too much energy on attacking and attacking and not really get it, getting the benefits, then he's sometimes running out of steam. But it's, it's a good start from him here. It's one or two smashes, that's all it's taken so far. And that's also part of saving his energy. Yeah, and you also do feel, though, that it's, it's worth more than one or two points. He's really got inside the head of the English, and that was a sort of little bit of a misjudgment from Marcus there. Here we saw a little bit of the weakness from Alexander Boy. It's, uh, she should have done more with that, not only uh, blocking it, but uh, trying to sort of score points. There was a kind of a half chance that she could have done more with that one. Yeah, that's good play by Ellis. Lovely play. So despite the good start from the Danes, they're only uh, two points up anyway. 4-6. It's not a lot between them. Defense starting to work better for Ellis. Let's see the same here for Smith. It's gone, just over pressing there, the keen, power-laden, tall Christensen. Yeah, he's going down the centre of the court on the, on the last one. Try to look at this one. He's going down the centre, but it gives uh, Ellis very few chances to, to play angle shots from that one. Unlucky for Matthias that that was going wrong on the back line. Yeah, it was well hit. Well, that's a poor serve. Poor serve from Marcus Ellis. Six, Lucky to get away four. with it. Hence the celebration, I think. Yeah, more of a nervy roar there. A delight. Oh, 
Lovely change up from Matthias Christensen. Lovely silky soft hands there. And that's the thing, isn't it? I guess the English base camp moves backwards when they hoist up that kind of lift to the tall man, and then suddenly they're exposed in the front court. Oh, that's nice. Deceptive yeah, brilliance from Elster. Nobody saw that <laughs> coming, did they? No, Seven. that was beautifully played. Oh. But it, it's touching a little bit on what we uh, said yesterday as well, when uh, Alexander Boy is sort of left to cover one side. Look at that. She's wrong-footed just a little bit, and there's no way coming back. So um, from side to side, she's not the quickest uh, on the court. Audacious from Ellis, like that. lift from uh, Alexander simply just too Stay short over. and uh, easy for Ellis to mount the pressure first one is coming it's back but second oh. one not but it was all up to the fact that the first lift was way too short you can see way within the first line all those hotel room workouts serving them well there's a lot of footage on the social media platforms of the English duo sit-ups and plyometrics brilliant again finds the gaping hole on the court does Ellis he is absolutely yes. dialed in yeah, and despite the good start from the Danes they're now trailing 9-8 Terrific return of serve so from Mateus. Quick to bounce. Similar tactics here from Marcus Ellis. Turn rush down the centre of the court. Directed at the body of Matthias Christiansen. Well, Alexandra Boyle there, take a bow. She was really wise to the flick serve. Got back there and up quickly. Set the tempo for the point there. his way through that one did Marcus Ellis and uh, somehow the English duo managed to find their way to the mid-game interval with a slender one-point advantage after just nine minutes of action so-called ex <coughs> expert on, on, on this. I actually think even 11, though it's so 10. close, 11-10, I 
I think that the English pair will win. Play. And I think it's uh, down to the fact that uh, the movement on, on court for Alexander Boy is simply a little bit too slow. I think they will exploit it, play her one side and then quickly turn to the other side and she will not be able to follow pace on that and that will force the Danish player into a defensive situation and I think in the long run in this match I think that's what's going to happen but let's let's see whether they can counter attack it the two days but somehow I think that the English pair is looking uh, really strong surviving uh, the onslaught from the beginning and uh, managed to get 11 10 off at the mid-game interval 12 11 and it certainly was an onslaught, onslaught, wasn't it, from the uh, team in blue. They came out thick and fast. And I think the English player have sort of steadied the ship and control it quite nicely now. And here the flick serve again. See the, the movement of uh, Alexandra. She was committed forward and as soon as it's not coming where she's anticipating it to come, she's caught. She's the youngest player on court and I guess, some would argue as well, the least experienced. and. Uh, well, there's got to be one. Oh. You're bound to pick on the uh, weakest link if you can. So she's acquitting herself pretty well out here most of the so time. You almost sense so that Mateus now is starting to Lucky. kind of overpress to yeah. chase the score. Yeah, that's uh, one of the disadvantages. He, he's, as you can see, was almost covering three quarters of the court there, and it's leaving really big gaps uh, cross court as well. And as soon as the English player is starting to see that, that could be another option for Alison Smith to go cross on uh, yeah. Mateus Christiansen. 15, 12. Marcus Ellis, watch this response like a greyhound up to this just in case. Explosive first step. Didn't come over, mercifully for him, but he was there. That's a beautiful serve. That is so nice to see because everyone favours to play what we call the tee, straight into the centre. And this time he went wide and look at the uh, angle that he managed to serve that serve. That was exceptional, really well played. Using his downtime well, no doubt. And here we get the example, look at that, just going cross on uh, Alexander Boy and uh, straight away you see that Matthias have to cover that one, he did it really well, uh, but nevertheless he's got to do the work. Merciless, no nonsense. Smash 15, kill. 17. Yeah, good of Alexander to get out of the way there. Too heavy again. We saw it a lot yesterday in the mixed doubles. Just burly and just 
racing through the court, that smash. Not a lot you can do to defend that. So it's still very, very close, this opener. to expose the movement of Alexander Boyle at the front of the court. Asking a lot of questions of the young 21-year-old. Yeah, Marcus Ellis is a very experienced mixed doubles player. He actually also, in the past, uh, partnered to Gabriel White. And they got to number 18 on the uh, world ranking. And Gabriel White today is Gabriel Matcock. Yeah. Very experienced 18, player. 16. a no-go area this isn't it really <laughs> with what Matthias is bringing his movement is sharp as well he's electric in getting behind and around the shuttle it was a clever clever attack straight down the line rather than going cross court on uh, Lauren Smith and then possibly get out of balance Whoa! that's well left by uh, Gabriella Three in a row for the Danes suddenly. String break for the English duo on Lauren Smith. She'll need to change that racket. A little bit of a miscue on 19, this one. 18. But it was one of the first times she was playing from the back, so perhaps a little bit of insecurity there. Alexandra there firing right at oh Lauren Smith really? nothing she could do it was a, a searing smash yeah it's the steepness of the smash that's doing it it's not so much the power it's much more the steepness well played so a couple of game points then for the Danish duo here well, having been playing second yeah. fiddle most of the way throughout, just Let's in the nick of five. time, the blue-shirted Danes steal the opening game. Inside 20 minutes of play, they take it 21-18. that <laughs> Og det skal du blive ved med. Også selvom det er tungt over, så må du slå en opbygning ned i fødderne på dem med lidt fart i først. Okay? Så helt sådan, selvom vi kan komme ind til hende, og så kan vi ja, 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 altså, på Men her kan, vi godt, ned til ham. her kan vi godt, altså, lige, altså. Lige, lige præcis. Men her kommer den jo også, at vi ikke på modvind. Jo, jo, jo. Så kan jeg stoppe lidt, ja. så du ikke så ja. langt ned i Men, men, det, men når vi, skal, vi skal sætte ja. ind i bolden hele tiden. Bare ja, blive ved med at jage dem ja. på nettet, altså. Når vi skal løfte, så skal vi altså hakke ja. til det. Ja. Alle deres løft, det er ikke Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ja, det, det, vi skal op på især mig, for det bliver svært for mig at slykke. Ja, det gør det. Ja, men det er nemlig det, men du skal blive ved med at sidde op på den sav. De skal pisse i bukserne hver gang. Kom så her. Kom så her. Hvad er din plads? Du er Well, they won the last uh, five points, Morton, to secure game one. That was some finish. It was. It was really well played by the Danes. I'm surprised that the English player is not adding more pressure onto Alexandra. And excuse me if I sometimes confuse and say Gabriella when it's Alexandra because it's her sister. <laughs> the sister of uh, Alexandra is Gabriella, and both of the players have been playing the same club as me for years, so sometimes, you know, habit. Yeah, bit, bit of a habit to apologize for that. But what I found interesting in the um, in the coaching situation uh, with the Danes was that Thomas Downgore, the coach, uh, said to Matthias, "You just go straight, go straight on your smashing, go straight on uh, Ellis. You're going straight through him. He's got no answer to it at the moment. Well, not to offer any angle. Yeah, just go straight down the line and make sure that uh, they have no angles to play after that." For me, and this isn't personal, but I just sense that Lauren hasn't really brought the ceiling of her game yet. It's obviously tough. There's big expectation on the seeded English pairing here, especially now being a game down. I'm sure it'll bubble up nicely, though. She normally finds a way. Three, two. Yeah, it's interesting that the uh, English combination is uh, at the moment uh, qualified for the race to Tokyo as uh, a number 10 and uh, the Danish pair is not qualified at all and I doubt very much whether they will be able to make it to Tokyo. Just looks a little downbeat, and Marcus is trying his utmost as well to lift and elevate the mood. You've got to get the intensity up, but sometimes you're just grappling with it as a pro. Day in, day out, it's not always easy. Just get those days. But it's what you do with it. Getting the most out of the batteries is what it's all about. Well done. That's an elevator right there. That'll lift. Well done. Well, that's good defensive work from the English team. Managing to hang in the point and just uh, tease out the error. Five, four. I 
think there's a slight drift uh, alongside the court as well. I think the uh, English player, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, playing with the drift, so they have the a little bit faster end, and that's why I think Matthias Christensen was so sure that that one was going out on the back line. Well, with all this happened, Morton, you, you do sense that Danes are very, very good at sort of um, patching up their weaknesses and bringing their strengths. Do you know what I mean? That they, they, they're just but getting I, a lot out of themselves. I, I, could, I couldn't agree with you more. I, I just feel that the English pair has so much more to offer than what we see at the moment. And I agree with you that uh, they have really not to reach their full potential in this match. And at the moment, I, I am surprised, though, that they are not really Play. trying to exploit uh, the, the situation at the front of the court with uh, Alexander Boy. Well done, that's she was so play. proactive yeah, there, that was play. brilliant so from Alexandra. Solo. Yes, very, very solo. good play. Five. Awesome. Got a good read on that. Trying to find the next gear. Well done. So it's over. Six, eight. Now it's about now. They need to kind of make their move, the English duo, and sort of start to stamp their authority here somehow. Yeah, and it could be it comes down to who plays best under pressure at the very end. Yeah. So Tell you what, she's Nine. elevated her game, hasn't she? She has. Really done very Beautiful well. Beautiful return of serve on that one, nicely disguised. Yeah, that could play. Greyhound lean, isn't he? Just a racing snake, Marcus Ellis. <laughs> so alert. Keen-eyed and bristling with intensity, the red-shirted Marcus Ellis Nine. at it again. Brilliant, combining so nicely there. 
thought for a second three points ago the scoreboard would start weighing heavy on them that they have responded to get Nine, back to parity four. the English team and that is commendable showing a lot of heart Quality has gone up, Morton. Definitely. Um, this was a very beautiful uh, rally. It was really well composed by both pairs. And, uh, and what I liked about the English combination was that they hardly lifted the shuttle. They really played a lot of drives and blocks and all that in order to try to control the rally. And they did it really nicely. Maybe that can give them a little bit of confidence to play that kind of game because that's what they need to do. That's well done oh. by Matthias Christiansen. Really well done. Ten, nine. Only 26 years old, he's a big unit, but he gets around the court like a rocket. away by Lauren just a little too Number short and 10, it is the Danes who head to the front first in this game in contrast to that opening game 11-10 to the blue team Yeah, that was a poor Twelve. return from Ten. Ellis and that put partner in deep, deep trouble in the deep backhand corner. Good lift from Boyer, but still that, uh, that return of serve was just too loose. Can't afford to play like that. He's laser-like, isn't he? It's a no-nonsense smash. We've seen a lot of it over the last couple of days. Searing his way through points. And I think also the playing conditions has changed a little bit. That's what we discussed uh, earlier today, you and I, just before we went on air. It's, it's not as cold inside uh, the stadium any longer as it was on the first day, which makes uh, the stadium playing a little bit faster than what it did on the first day. Yeah, it's an aggressor's delight. With a warmer setting over the last couple of days, marginally. We're so talking a few degrees more now, we, but it does make a big difference. To the shuttle, it makes a lot of difference um, depending on uh, the temperature inside. So it's over. 14, 11. He has just ravaged the English defences, Christensen, imposing his will at any opportunity. 
And that's becoming a really familiar look. Yeah, well, it's amazing that uh, Ellis is not more prepared for these uh, towards the drives towards his buddy on, on that return of serve because it's coming almost every single time from Matthias Christiansen. He must be more prepared when uh, there's such a strong pattern in what he's doing. And of course, world ranked uh, 28, uh, the Danes, the English far higher. And of course, they're kind of, the English have the target on the back, really, don't they? More, they're more the hunted, and it's a kind of different mindset for them these days a little. Five. Well done, Lauren Smith. Brilliant. Very so, so tight to the net, that one. 12, 15. Games going on right now. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh! So it's over. 16, 12. Scoreboard rattling along nicely for the Danes now. A four point cushion and a game to the good. Things really looking up, just five points away. But they're going to be five tough points to win. So it's over. Yeah, it's about Party. last opportunity, I would say, for the English combination to come back here. Trailing three points, um, having lost the first, it's really now they have to dig deep and get back into it. The Danes, I think they have played uh, really their very best standard today. Look at the block shot from Ellis, so the straight block uh, shot from his 17. backhand and straight over. And uh, that's uh, normally where uh, Boy had to cover that one, but uh, it was Matthias that got all the way up to the net to cover it. And I, I am amazed that uh, the English player have not exploited that kind of situations a bit more. And one of the reasons why they are really in, in trouble here. Well, they're not out of the woods yet. No, definitely not. <laughs> the white-shirted Danish coach would hope so, but uh, this is a, a very tight second game, akin to the first.
So it's over. 18, 16. Nerve riddled serve, perhaps. Yeah. Ellis has not surfed so well, and now Lauren Smith is kind of following his footsteps. Chan Peng Sun and Go Liu Ying from Malaysia. Versus Robin Tabling and Selena Pierre from Netherlands. Umpire. Mansure Dorothean from Iran. Service judge. Ramida Asawa Pesok from Thailand. Last chance saloon for the English team. Three points adrift in game two, a must win for them. Oh, it's just missed, but he's going to challenge. He's going to go upstairs and it'll be big beating hearts for English fans right here. This is a huge moment. If he's found it, they might still be in this, but if not, well, you'd imagine four, it's pretty much points down. And I think four match points down. Yeah. Yeah, it was a challenge out of desperation, but you've got to do it. Yeah. Unable to really bring their very best today. They've been contained by the crafty Danes. who played a terrific match. Yeah, it seems like I have to eat my words from the mid-game interval in the first game, and uh, I certainly accept that. And uh, really well played so far from uh, Christiansen and Boyer. Let's see if the English can come back. They have to survive another three match points. Two match points have come and gone. Here comes the big one. Ellis has got to serve to Christiansen. And uh, watch out. If that sh low serve is not perfect, he's going to get attacked on his body. And he's got to be ready for it. Dare he flick? He might dare to flick. That's good serving. This time to the yeah. centre. Yeah. Listen to what it means to them. Matthias Christensen and Alexander Boyle. Well, they brought their A game today. Played some Match terrific one, doubles. And they are Christian delighted. And rightly and so. They've downed the seven seeds in 43 minutes of compelling badminton. It was tight all the way, and somehow they've managed to do it in straight games as well. That is a commendable effort. And our first team march on through rampantly to our first quarterfinal on court one. That'll be tomorrow, but what a win for these two. They will be absolutely delighted with that. And uh, well, they gave their best. Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith, but not to be today. Just marginally outdone. They'll feel a little dejected momentarily, but they've still a couple of tournaments to make amends. Well played, the Danes.
Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Yonex Thailand Open then. Day three unfolding nicely. We're underway. 39 matches to take us to the quarterfinals on tomorrow's Friday.